Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss about future provider in RiverPod. Future provider is generally used to get the data from API. Here inside this project in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken this Flutter RiverPod dependency and to make the network call, I have taken HTTP dependency. Now inside the leaf folder here, I have created a file named as API service.dart. If I move to this file, then you can see inside this class, I have created this endpoint from where we will get the data and I have created a function get user, which will give us a future list of user model. Now this user model is also a class which has been created inside the leaf folder. You can see the code of user model here. Inside this user model, we are getting the ID, email, first name, last name and avatar. Now move to API service once more. Now inside this function, you can see I am calling the get method here. I have parsed the endpoint and if the response code is 200, then I am using the JSON record method and I'm getting the result which has been stored inside this result variable. After that, on this result variable, I have used the map function. And after that, this user model has been converted to list. Correct. And if there is any exception, then it will throw the exception. Now let me move to main.dart. Inside this main.dart here, I will write the code. You can see that the root is wrapped inside the provider scope. Now here what I will do here, let me create a variable final API provider equals to here I will use provider of which type API service type and what it will give it will give the ref and this ref I will call what API service this syntax I have already discussed now here I will create one more provider let the name be user data provider equals to here I will use future provider which is provided by river pod now this future provider will give us list of user model and in this ref here I will return ref dot read API provider now once I read API provider ultimately I will get the get user method which I have created inside the API service Correct. Now let me put a semicolon here. Now I will move down here. You can see that we have this is scaffold visit app bar is there and it is extending consumer visit. That's why I'm getting this visit ref here. Now inside this build method here, I will create final user data equals to as usual, we will use the ref dot watch and I will watch which provider obviously user data provider because this will give us the user data right now in the body of a scaffold here i will use user data dot i will use the when method now it will give us data error and loading correct now if there is any error then we can track this error from here and when the data is being loaded then in the loading what I can do is that in the loading I will display a circular progress bar. So here I need to return const of center child and here I will use circular progress indicator. So when the data is loaded, this loading will be called and we will see the circular progress indicator. Correct. And if there is any error, then here it will give us the error and error stack 
and for this I will display the error inside the text widget and here I will call to string method fine error correct now when the data is received then for this data portion I will write data and I will display the data inside list view dot builder now this item builder will give us the context and index let me put a semicolon here and here I need to return a widget which widget I will return I will return a list style correct now in this list style first of all I will use the title in the title I will use the text widget and in this text widget let me use interpolation and here I will use this data data of index correct dot first name this means it will display the user's first name and what I will do I will display the user's last name as well so here I need to write data of index dot last name let me put a semicolon here as well now for this list style it is some error here okay fine now for this list style after this title sorry after this title what I will do is that I will use subtitle in the subtitle I will display the user's email hmm. so here I need to use text and in this text data of index dot email and as a leading widget what I will do I will use a circle of tar in this circle of tar in the circle of tar as a child I will use image dot network and here I will pass data of index dot avatar correct now let me run this now it is giving error because here for this list view builder I have not used the item count so I need to use the item count as well so here I will use item count and this item count will be data of length now let me run the project and let me show you the output and you can see the output is here correct now what I can do is that let me refresh this once again now till the data is loaded you will see circular progress indicator is displayed after that we are getting the data this is how we can use future provider in river pod to get the data from API I hope you have liked my video if you have liked my video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching